Yeah, it's really weird to see. I know they propped it up to for display so it would last when it get wet. This thing with the roof. It looks like maybe it's a horse stable or something. This is old looking. Gotta put a fence around it. Various fencing. Yeah, there's a door. This is some kind of a shack. And not big enough for horses. <clears throat> so they implying that this was some fenced in enclosure for particular animals. <laughs> they give a little shack to. And it could be pigs. I think there's a chance it was pigs by the look of this little puddle area. But uh, yes, yeah, nothing in there. They were keeping something in here. This this hay is in kind of a fresh appearance. Storage over there. So there must be a door. And the fence isn't too high, so that implies to me that it's an animal that can't jump very high. Where's the door? Oh, they actually lock it. What's in there? I see bee or wasps. Can't really make out. It's just various storage. All right, this is a weird setup. They got stairs going up. Looks like an old bedroom. Got a lock on everything. I, I don't want people looking inside. All right, <laughs> it's not it's not too hard to open up. This is old old style blacksmith. It's too bad they got to cover up the windows like they do. Yeah, they made use of a lot of fencing early on it looks old rebar is probably old but this style of rebar is used still used today they got this fencing lining some kind of a trail there's all kinds of fencing set up i'm sure it looked pretty neat when it was Freshly complete, but now it's just a rotting pile of wood And I have no idea what it could have Been used for Was it used for tourism was it used by the Lincolns And what's this up here some weird bridge With chicken wire on the sides that looks new. So they got some kind of a trail here. They set up some weird plank bridge. Huh, yeah, and it looks fairly new, maybe in the last 10 years. Wow, really moves. Just a simple bridge now on a, on a trail that's not very clear. <clears throat> Here's Lincoln's old hunting stand overlooking the cornfield along the trail.
Lincoln Cabin State Park, Lincoln Cabin State Park, Illinois. Seems like for me the only time I can have cayenne pepper is with milk. If I don't have cayenne, if I don't have milk, I, I really hold off on eating cayenne pepper with anything else. I just don't like it with anything else, really. All right, I put mint with red pepper together. And the mint seems to counteract the burning effect of the pepper. It's kind of cool. Charleston, Illinois. Charleston, Illinois. So when it comes to uh, pets and refrigerators, I hear people say they take them on their van life. Or you see them in videos, they take them on their van life tours. But uh, I'm like, I got the attitude that... A lot of people that live in communities that I visit have pets that I can look at. I see cats all around neighborhoods, dogs. I get some interactions with pets. I don't have to be carrying a pet with me. And then refrigerators, I mean, I'm buying from frozen sections quite often. So I don't see a need to have a refrigerator myself. When I could try to wait to the last minute before buying something like frozen frozen fruits, frozen vegetables, which is the main thing I buy from frozen areas, just do that. I mean, I do have the uh, vacuum sealed water containers. That's about the best thing I got for keeping things cold. But I just I don't see a need or a reason to have any pets or refrigeration i think it's too weighty and burdensome for traveling all right i'm annoyed by these handles so i'm gonna just pull them off they seem like they might come off easy i, I, I like the colander i don't use it for much these days but i find that these handles are in the way a little bit and they just, the rivets break. I want the rivets to break. I don't want to just bend it off. So there's one simple matter of just pulling them off. They're like practically just only glued on there. So there was actually a bottom plate to this colander I, I pulled off years ago. And now I'm just pulling off the handles. Because it's fine just as a bowl. Right, so at this county market, I was able to find things that I don't normally find at the Walmart, such as sunflower seeds that are not roasted in oil or salted. I'll just take them raw. That's fine. Every so often I can cook them. I'm done with those sunflower seeds that they have to roast in oil. Some are roasted in a dry, like a peanut dry roasted. Very rarely though. They, they often have to be roasted in canola oil. It's been a long time since I've found things that I could stock up on. Like I, I don't know, stocked up on oats. Stocked up on these uh, pumpkin seeds and... They're $10 a pound. I got two pounds for $20. That's quite a price. Sunflower seeds aren't that much cheaper. But yeah, I've been sitting on empty containers just sitting in here in the, the stack um, waiting for this moment. I got two of these containers of sunflower seeds because it's so rare that I come across these suckers. So... I'm filling up my, my containers again, these emptied containers, because, I, I mean, yeah, one's got raisins, so I actually forgot about those. One's got bay leaves. I rarely do refer to that. There's some in here that I haven't used in a while that I have to reevaluate if I'm going to, if I want to keep it or empty it. So, it's uh, constantly changing. Uh, environment here yeah see some like some can look like they're full from the bottom 
sort of. And then I pull it out and it's practically empty. So I got a few uh, containers that could be filled, you know, which is nice. They're taking up the space already, but some are just empty. Unlike having these containers sit in my car, these actually take up extra space uh, compared to what I've already got available to fill up. So I wanna immediately pour this into here and uh, then get it out of the way. I guess the only issue is um, the weight that the seeds will put on the containers. That makes them more likely to fall down compared to an empty one. Empty ones tend not to fall so easily when I, when I nudge them. Whoops. But, uh, that, you know, that's, that's just how the storage works. All right, I just want to make note that I'm in a bad habit right now of putting the cracked eggshells back into the container that I pulled them from. I have six good eggs in here still. And after I crack the eggs, I put them back in. Yeah, you can see that. And then what it does is, what I do, of course, everything turns upside down in my car, always. This turned to the side and started leaking out onto the surface. So I had to wipe that down. I'm at risk of salmonella infection because of my mistake. I'm gonna put them into the back. In fact, I should be pulling these cracked shells out, actually. They should be out of here. And I should, in the future, not be putting them back into the container anymore in a so separate uh, thing. And that way I reduce the risk of that leakage because everything turns over upside down in my car all the time. And, and now, um, in practice, once again, I've made a bad mistake. I think younger people are probably using more electricity than me because they're playing video games a lot more, which video games take up a lot more electricity. So younger people who want to do... Uh, live in their live outside the home relying on batteries need more battery power if they want to continue their gaming lifestyle or just learn to cut back and don't play as much maybe watch more videos i think watching videos takes less energy charleston illinois charleston Ston, illinois when it comes to browning my food from cooking it, I accept a little bit from boiling the food. It happens to my potatoes, happen to these eggs. I'll eat a little bit of that brown. But yeah, cooking it in oil on a pan, browning practically the entire thing, it seems like a mistake to me. All right, I'm gonna check out this nature center and see if they charge money and just get a peek at this. That's all. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Okay, I don't see him charging money there. <clears throat> Something sticks. Fencing sticks. I don't see cost yet. Oh. Fish food. Hi. Let's recycle here. Okay, let me grab someone else. Having a good meal. Stop.
side of the tree is really weird to me. I've never seen branches, trees like this. I don't know, it's still, it's weird. It's almost like oak tree, but not quite. I'm on a nature preserve and just going on a walk on their trail and checking things out. They're thanking us for not boating while well, they got boats here. That's kind of a weird statement to make. They locked them together, so you can't just use them. Seems a little unfair, though, that they can boat, but nobody else can. Don't feed us American bread. And then they had something about fish food. Fish food is a yeah is a fair why would they put tape over that? Alright, so I can't tell if okay okay violet was uh born in 1917 or 2017 actually now that i see another plaque she didn't she was just a baby so for the past couple of days it rained a lot so there's a quite a bit of flooding and a rise in water. Wetland overlook. Well, it's extra wet. So this is higher than usual. Yeah, see, it's kind of come up on the trees. The water's risen so much. But they're prepared for it. I mean, it's not totally over flooded. It's just higher. It's a platform over there, probably for the animals. Little hangout. Oh, yeah, right over. The bridge over here is flooded for sure. Get a closer look. A little rocking chair here. Looks like fun. Older bridge. Doesn't really go anywhere. Is it just floating? It's sturdy. But yeah, they haven't needed to um, finish it because I guess it's it's not used a whole lot, but it's over flooded. That they did not build up to uh, the standards that uh, flooding has reached. This has, though, this, this unit. So just last year, they made turtle rafts. Instead of throwing out natural logs, they got a buoy and built some kind of platform. They don't like using natural logs like these laying off to the side. That's a Eagle Scout project. All right, because there's a lack of forest fires in Illinois. Maples do better. I did not really think about that, but okay. Maple trees uh, will dominate when there's fewer forest fires. It's such hard work making nature look natural. Look at this. They're saying that, that they're actively removing certain plants. They're picking out some plants they don't want to replace them with plants they do want. Talk about uh, weird belief. All right, I woke up about, I don't know, 2 a.m. with a panic in my heart. And I sat for an hour just sitting, looking at the internet, and I started smelling a little exhaust. 
the wind is blowing from this direction, from this this trucks. I think a lot of that truck over there is uh, releasing the uh, exhaust as well. I think I got woken up by the exhaust. The wind is heading right at me from them. <sighs> I think that's what happens sometimes. I get in a deep sleep and then suddenly I get suddenly woken up the panic and I think it's I think it's the exhaust that causes it I, I took I took a stupid chance so now I want to relocate it's like 3 a.m. I want to relocate away from that exhaust because it, it wafts over I don't smell I don't smell it right now but it wafts over at times and I'm thinking that's what caused my heart issue Mattoon, Illinois, Mattoon, Illinois. Okay. Can you push it? Yeah. Can you reach it? All right, the children's area on the roof. Huh, the old card catalog. Without cards. The water in this city Taste and smells like it comes straight from a swamp. Something's wrong with the water. <laughs> so it seems like there's a higher percentage of people in Mattoon who appear to be more dangerous than uh, the average area in the, a lot of this whole housing look a little bit more run down than than uh than average i got this homeless guy over here i believe he's got mental deficiencies he's yelling a lot so that's a concern i parked further away from him because of that all right between the yelling of that homeless guy and somebody else joined him too it's, it's like they're yelling at each other and some guy was parked next to me and smoking a, a cigarette or a cigar that's got a strong smoke to it. I think I'm going to move over here off the, off the side of the, the store. Maybe it's better. It looks like it's going to be a little bit noisier. Some cities seem to break me down. Some cities seem to build me up. My tune seems to break me down. My heart seems to struggle. That The water tastes like a swamp. The air seems to be doing something that I just uh, make, it makes my heart, it goes straight to my heart. Makes it uh, feel bad. <clears throat> like death, practically. I keep my cayenne in mind because of uh, the struggling. It's a weird struggle, and I smell th weird things in the air. It's actually, they smell like pizza last night here, sleeping here last night. So there's there's things being put into the air that are unusual. The people look in terrible shape. 
They look rough. The town looks rough. Uh, there's something going on here that's not healthy and Mattoon that I did not experience in just east of here in Charleston. <sighs> Oops. Now I see that. But I haven't been harassed, so it's okay. This town has a lot of problems. I think there's something really toxic in the air and the water, both, that's tearing the people up, doing something horrible to them, making them not feel so healthy. I'm not feeling so healthy in the entire town from Walmart to this Neiman's grocery store. I wanna wait till six and get some chicken and head north but the people look in bad shape i saw i heard a group of like five kids walk past me five or six close to my car and one of them exclaimed that she had no money and it was just so casual to hear her say that to openly admit to her group of friends <laughs> that she had no money okay when they're having conversations like that and out in the open amongst each other i mean they <laughs> she she like she's comfortable saying that because she knows that <laughs> her other friends have no money likely either it's just a common thing to say <laughs> In Mattoon, I have no money because they're not making any because <clears throat> something is tearing this, this city town up. I got quite the art here. Mattoon, very realistic. There's just something that's not right. And it's it's uh it's in the air and it's in the water. Charleston did not make me feel so bad. I should not be having heart issues that wake me up with a ra racing heart, feeling slightly sick sick to my stomach. I should not be feeling that. There's just something that's outside of my control here. Confederate operatives in Mattoon. Yeah, that Northwest conspiracy is going on today. It's probably why Chicago is falling apart. This has a weird glow to it. It comes out when you look straight at it and then look on the side and it's not as glowy. Just gotta remember where I'm at. I was curious about walking downtown. It's like after 4 a.m. It's warm out. Uh, There's quite a few people out last night. So it's the weather is making people feel pretty good. More active. Alright, and I wanna comment when I get I could hear another train horn. The trains are very active through here. The train horns are very active. And that boggles my mind. So if you look down below, the train passes underneath that road down there. This road, the road, and then another road further down. This train does not intersect any roads. All right, nobody has to stop for this train, these trains, the double tracks. Yet still, the train sounds its horn every time it passes through. And it doesn't need to. It's not crossing any, any roads. All the roads have bridges over the train tracks, yet the trains are blaring their horns for no good reason. It's annoying and it seems and it's unnecessary.
66 yeah it's pretty nice weather I gotta say though that's I use some of that swamp water to, to cook with the swamp water from a tune and I figure I could cook it cook that problem out if it's especially if it's a if it's a live bacteria in the swamp wow that's a permanent looking sign <clears throat> permanent stamp in the sidewalk Lincoln's last visit